you mentioned that someone mentioned to you, and I think this is what triggered their question, someone told you that someone was saying something very different to what they were saying to you in your meetings. Should you engage with your staff and ask about other people's opinions to confirm what's going on? It, it struck me as a question, I think it was because it, it feels dangerous, but does it get to you the truth faster? Yeah, it's your business. And I think as a business owner, we get tied up in this whole emotional of I, I can't, it's going to undermine, I shouldn't, I should not. It's your business. Mm. If any of your teams start pressing the alarm bells because you are looking into what they're doing and how they're doing it, there is a problem there. They do not respect that it's your business. And actually, typically, if you get an out of proportionate response to that conversation, where I'm just trying to find out what's going on then they're hiding something. And as a a very good employment lawyer, my good friend Annabelle Cates said to me, 50% of the time, they're either stealing time from the company or they're stealing money. If you get a significant out of proportion response for you just investigating, is the job being done to the level I want it to be done? And so, yeah, you have every right to do that. And we forget this because we get told by our management team, you need to let us do our job, keep your nose out of it, we'll get on and do it. Well, actually, if you've got significant concerns, it's absolutely your right to do that and ask that. And you know, I was brought up on this concept of management by walking about. Well, sadly, we can't do management by walking about if a lot of us are working virtually. Kind of, and you know, we can't do the, and my door is always open because a lot mm. of people when they're working virtually kind of go, oh, Nikki's really busy. I can't disturb Nikki. Or, and, you know, we build up that story that we can't tell us. So we have to role model what we want to do, which means we've got to set up some of those communication channels. You know, how are you hearing what's really going on? Because very often what we hear is going on is when it gets to the point of conflict. Oh, so-and-so's not doing that. So-and-so won't do that. I can't get that, you know. And actually that is unhelpful because then you have to unpick what really happened, what somebody thinks happened and what the other person happened. When actually all we need to do is just sort it. So it's really important that you know that you can go and speak to anybody in your business because ultimately at the end of the day, you're paying their wages and that you don't feel that afraid to do that. Mm. And if you get in that out of proportion response and telling you to shove off, you've got to investigate further. Yeah, I agree. And that's the common thing that when you actually go behind these big companies going wrong and things get massively getting out of hand, it's usually several layers of management all putting a spin as it yeah. works its way up. So oh, yeah. you should go oh, yeah. down, you should go down yeah. to the bottom. No, I love that. 